Okay, so in this lecture, I am going to go over these values here. So you can better understand these uh, commands, the NTPQ command column output. And uh, so we'll start off with the remote. The remote, which is right here, is the remote service you wish to synchronize your clock with. In our case, that's my uh, CentOS server. Then the next one is ref id and that's the upstream stratum to the remote server for stratum one server this will be the stratum zero source so if you remember we had in our centos machine let's take a look over that so these are the upstream st stratum that we are talking about the server zero centos.pool.ntp.org and goes from zero all the way to three in my case but uh, can add one more after that now the third column here is st that's the stratum level which goes from zero through 16. okay so zero one two three goes all the way up to 16. t is the type of connection can be u for unicast or manicast B for broadcast, or T, or uh, uh, or multicast, and I for local reference clock, S for symmetric peer, A for manycast server, and uh, B for a broadcast server, or M for a multicast server. And since the first four are belong to a pool, that's why you're seeing P over here. The next one is when when the last time when the server was queried for the time and the default is seconds or m will be displayed for minutes h for hours and d for days okay and the next one is poll how often the server is queried for the time with a minimum of 16 seconds to a maximum of 36 hours it's also displayed as a value for a power of 2 Typically, it's between 64 seconds and 1024 seconds. Okay, next one is reach. This is an 8-bit left shift octal value that shows the success and failure rate of communicating with the remote server. Success means uh, the bit is set. Failure means the bit is not set. 377 is the highest value. Next one is delay. This value is displayed in milliseconds and shows the round trip time or RTT of your computer communicating with the remote server next one is offset this value is displayed in milliseconds using root mean squares and shows how far off your clock is from the reported time the server gave you it can be positive or negative okay so for the first five as you can see there is no difference so there is no offset and then on some of the servers it's higher and some uh, it's negative and the last value is a jitter this number is an absolute value in milliseconds showing the root mean squared deviation of your offsets 